Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So this again is a pre-record uh, from a few days ago. Um, and it's only because I'm going to be going out on Valentine's Day with my wife. It's my second birthday, uh, which I've explained in the last episode. Um, so yeah, uh, I will not be... Um, most likely the episodes up until Friday will be pre-recorded. So if you're dropping comments on them, just expect, uh, I will be, resp I, will, I do respond to all comments. So, um, just expect that changes won't necessarily happen for a few episodes. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but I do consider everything, uh, regardless of how harsh, uh, the comments are on my gameplay. Um, I, I take it all in good light. I, uh, you know, so it doesn't really matter if you don't like what I'm doing, just put it in the comment section below. If you enjoy what I'm doing, put it in the comment section below. I don't care either way. Uh, I just play this game for fun and I record for fun. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I, I, everything rolls off my back. All right. So let's have a look here. We're going to start moving systems first. We're going to refit a couple of mechs here before we get into combat. So let's go to star map and we're going to look for a little better planet. Now there was one over here that was one and a half skull, I believe. That's one. Where are you here? That's a half. One and a half. Tabayama. 75,000. I don't think I want to spend that amount of time and that much sea bills to go there, though. Uh, anything else closer? Two Skull Sanda. 14 days. I think that's probably an opportunity. We were talking about going to one and a half Skull missions. I think this is well within range of that. So it's 14 days. So let's do that. Let's start traveling there. 50 grand, sure. It's a little more than I wanted to spend, but that's fine. Thanks, man. Okay, so we're paused here. Now, let's have a look in the mech base, because we want to have a look at this hunchback. Actually, let's do the cicada first, because I want to pull off the large laser off this guy. So we're going to pull the large laser off, and... We've got, we don't really have anything. Could you imagine? <laughs> Hang on, we don't have ammo for this though. Sorry, I just had this flash of putting a boomstick on it, lowering the core, and then, uh, yeah, putting it like if we put a mask system on it, that'd be hilarious. Okay, so uh, we picked up a machine gun array last episode, and this guy's got a lot of ballistic points. Well, we've got enough ballistics for this guy but this is not going to be enough ammo i don't think so we got 16 20 28 um so if we go to lower the engine but we that's just a waste um could do this heat sinking is going to be an issue range not so much because we're going to be backstabbing with this guy um, that's like 28 machine gun rounds. But we won't have enough ammo though, like... hundred and fifty rounds, so we'd have like... five turns of firing before we would be out. Um, we could drop the e-cooling and put more ammo in. But I don't know. Lowering the engine is a bad idea. I mean, if we pull out two machine guns and put a medium laser in, Like that. Heat sinking will be better. And we won't have ammo issues. Well, I mean, we'll get it. What? Have what? Uh, five, seven and a half rounds. Seven and a half turns of firing. But we're not going to be in point blank for that many turns, I don't think. I think this is probably a better loadout. Let's try this and see how it goes. So let's confirm this. It's seven days. Now, I want to try and do an experimental refit of this guy just to see where it goes. So, 
The issue we're having with this guy is obviously its ability to hit. So let's pull out the AC for a second. Uh, I'm going to pull out the medium laser on this arm and we'll take the large laser that we just took off the cicada and put it here. Now our heat sinking is at what? Yeah, so if we're using this guy as just a long distance fire support mech, um, 54, and then once we get there to where we're going, we put another heat sink in. Medium as a backup and just use two larges for long range. Um, the other way to do it would be to pull the large. Um, no, that's not a way to go. Well, I mean, that's not far from horrible either. Heat sinking is ridiculously good. So if we, that's the 240 core in there. So we got better speed and a ton of medium lasers. Uh, heat sinking. Don't need those. What else do we have? We don't have any support points. We do. Don't have any missile points though. We don't have any, any ammo for our, the problem is we don't have any ammo for these support weapons. There's nothing in here. I mean, that's, okay, that's, uh, that's not, that's not bothering me. We jack the speed up on this guy and just go with medium lasers. That's going to completely reform the lance. So let's do that. Confirming this. Yeah, I'm happy with that actually. I didn't think it was going to be uh, feasible to get that route, but I think that's the way to go. So we want to go with Wolverine at the top, Assassin. Assassin finishes, Cicada goes in. So it's nine days and then eight days for this base. So that's perfect. So it's going to be, we should be back in time. Yeah, we'll be back before we get there. So that's excellent. So I'm really happy with the way that Lance turned out. Now the Cicada, I think we'll try. We'll swap out the Assassin in this next first mission that we take. I guess it really depends on what it is, but we might swap out the Assassin just to see how the Cicada performs. Um... Oh man, really? Most helpful member. Well, you know what? So here's the thing. She was stealing from us before. And although she's become helpful, my guess is that she became helpful just because she wanted to redeem herself. We can't give her a VIP for that, but we could definitely throw her a party. Can't reward her for, from, for stealing. I know I did that with Pylon, but the difference was is Pylon was like under heavy fire continuously and he absolutely needed that. That guy went through so much in Cold Forged. Survived to the very end too, to episode 100. Chances are we might do a few more episodes too in the future. So, um, yeah. That guy was a true, that guy was a trooper, man. All right, let's see what we got here. LB10X. LBX10, that is. Uh, small VSPL, eh. 10 times 4 for 18 heat, 2 tons. It's got no range though, right? 220? Yeah. E cooling systems, okay. End of steel. Exchange or double plus. FCS melee. Plus one melee accuracy, okay. It's going to be interesting to see what all fire control systems come, come down the pipe here. Hmm. Patchwork tier 2, which we can't afford, of course. Effective coating, which we've already seen. Small cockpit, meh. High explosive ammo. Plus one machine gun damage. Minus 50% chance to deal critical hit. I think the crit hits on the machine guns are more important than anything. Um, unless you want, unless you're looking for survivability, but... Uh, incendiary ammo. 
57,000. I don't know. Let's see how we do. Um, Thunderbolt 15. Let's see how we do with uh, the missions here as to whether or not we pick up the incendiary ammo. Because the um, cicada running incendiary would be a huge support to the fire starter. Especially if you want to shut guys down. Ammo thumper. What's a thumper? Guess we'll find out sooner or later. Um, Alright, well, let's have a look at the contracts. Yeah, let's have a look at the barracks. And we'll come back to contracts in a second. We'll get them to repopulate in a minute. So we've still got points, but we're going to wait for gunnery. Apex. So Ronan's got... Um, we're going to go... See, normally I go this route. Right, tactician for the minus critical hits taken. Initiative and tactics rolls. Um, but both Ronan and Spanthi are, are close in mechs. I mean, we're all really close in mechs now. So I'm thinking this has got more advantage. Move in, shoot, shoot, move away. Let's try it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Um, yeah, we've almost got enough for another thing over here. Okay, so command center. Let's look for a one and a half skull mission. We got a lot here. That's good. Hide the evidence. Um, destroy a base. 521 salvage. Local government black site, eh? Uh, what else do we got here? Incomplete intelligence. Destroy a base. Last mix standing. Two skulls. Uh, how close are we to getting rep with these guys here? We're at 12 now. Max contract difficulty is three skulls, really? Yeesh. Um, let's take hide the evidence. So destroy base, one and a half skulls. We're probably facing medium max, most likely. And we're going to go full salvage because damn... Hopefully don't, we don't take a lot of damage here. So we're going to pull out Sunflower and bring him back in Apex. Um, because we are going to need the extra chance to hit. And we're all moving super fast now, so that's cool. So let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Entering a restricted area, are we? I'm good to go, Commander. When aren't we entering restricted areas? Okay. Let's not make the same mistake we made on this map last time where we moved the hunchback in too quickly. Keep it close and tight. Let's see how far this hunchback can move now. Not bad. Not bad. I'm glad I picked up those extra cores, I'm telling you. Having that flexibility early, um, I don't want to say is vital, but it's really nice to have that. To be able to just switch engines around in order to get things going. I mean, I would never have been able to pull that hunchback build off with, with the engine that we had. The 240 it just doesn't have the speed, so I'd be forced to use the mask on it. Which I didn't want to have to do, but now we don't. Do Alright, let's see what we got here. Move in and get some eyes on if you can. Sorry, sensors on. Uh -huh. um, is it two turns without sensors? Commander. Or am I just not understanding how sensor checks work? If you guys know, drop it in the comment sections down below. I know it was always it was one turn for the for the first little bit there in um, 997. So it was one turn with those. Oh no, I got sensors. Oh, I think it's just the pilots maybe don't have quite the ability. Fire that's the light turret. Two urban mechs and a fire truck? If I had to guess, my guess is that they're going to have reinforcements. Because that's, for a one and a half skull, that's a pretty shit defense. Light, it's a light turret chassis too. I think it can hold up to like 180 armor or 200 armor or something. R60, that's the AC-10 version I think. 
fire truck coming in. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's get over here. So the bonus is now coming down this way. Is we got this cliff here, right? So that shields us from anybody else that can has the chance to uh, see us. So I think this guy's got a boomstick. So we got to kill him fast. Strong side armor. And okay front and back armor. Um, all right. And this guy, I believe, is the AC-10 and machine gun or medium laser, flamer? Yes, Commander. I don't know. Yeah, Hunchback's got some speed now. I mean, it's still a shitty chance to hit everything, but we got some speed. Going to full throttle. Not a tremendous amount of it, but Here's enough. Everything I've got. Meh. As long as you stay cool firing all five, that's all that matters. I heard another vehicle moving, so looks like the extra guy is a vehicle. Um, how far? Oh, you're blocking away. You. Oh, we didn't change out to the cicada either, cause I'm an idiot. Roger, skipper, taking it. Sorry, guys. I don't think in this instance it would have been worth it anyway. Negative damage. Repeat. We need the range Negative on this mission. Okay, just trying to avoid shots from everybody else. Time to die. Hey, you hit. Nice. Even better. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. I don't know if he likes it or not, but he's going to take it. He's running away. Turret. Now, don't block the way. On the move. Shoot that truck. Roger that. Well. Okay. I want this Irby though. He's trying to hide. He's being a jerk. Don't hide. Come on to the party. Well, we really needed the right side, but I'll take the left side. That's fine. Oh, I see. I thought he was flipped around the other way. So, yeah. That's fine. Need full speed. And everything on this guy. Okay, at least it's going to be harder for him to hit. He's running. Waiting for orders. Uh, I think that's going to provide me enough protection from the turret. Uh, although it puts me inside of the turby. Turd B. Commencing alpha strike. Shit. Put all the forest on fire though. Systems recycling for another shot. Stop shooting our infantry over here. I've been sensor locked. Okay, AC turret at range. It's raining missiles, guys. Okay, so they got AC turrets. We need to worry about those. It's a silver bullet. Yes, Commander. On the move. 
See if we can. Well, we're gonna hit this guy really well, but I want to see if we can uh, knock him down, or just blow him up. That works too. Okay, so the hunchback is definitely giving us its worth there. So let's pull over here. And yeah, fire everything in the back of this truck. Three hits, nice. Um, so just so you guys know, I am working on the uh, opening for the um, my next Rogue Tech series, the uh, um, Jade Falcon Freeborn. So that should be coming up this weekend. Not sure how much time this week I'm going to have to start recording it. Because um, I still have to do some more of uh, Funky Steve's. Ah, he's getting away. Damn it. I uh, still got to do a bit. Oh. Yeah, it puts us in sight range of the turrets and stuff, though. I'll have to wait till he comes back. Um, so I still have to do some more recording of Funky Steve's. So um, I'm just going to walk it up here. Uh, I won't be able to get into that till this weekend, I think. And then I'm going to have to cycle Funky Steve to uh, uh, a lower rating, I think. So a lower, lower priority on my end of when I'm going to be able to record it. Because it, once again, it is in version 997, so I can't really update it. Alright, Spentia. Good to go. Can you get... Yeah, but just barely, and you're the wrong mech to do that. I really hesitate pulling out here, though, like this. That puts me in range of one turret. Can we get this? We could go after just this turret. Let's see. It's the beginning of our turn. I feel confident that we can probably take it out. There's this one back here. That's a lot of ballistic. Let's hope we hit with everything, guys. Ah, uh, we missed with two, really? It's okay, we got guys that can follow that up. Standing by. Okay, do we want to be... I think here. here we go. Now... That's the missile turret. Let's see if we can take this guy out for sure. Okay, there we go. Good shooting. One less that could have been disastrous if you let that guy shoot. So let's just. I'm not. Like the Urban Max, I'm not really that worried about. I'm going to move into the open. Gives us a better chance to hit. I know if we don't kill this turret, we're going to take damage, but I'm going to take the chance that we can kill the turret. It's a lot of 11s and 9s. Oh, got to be darn close. Yeah, we are. Still got one guy left. Fire truck's coming back. Bring it, turkey. So, destroy base gear. Who are we? Oh, nice shot. This is getting serious. Thank God that was an AC-10 and not a 20. Uh... We're missing a guy here somewhere. They've got one more mech somewhere. Let's hope we kill this guy. We might. Crap. But it's got like one point left. No, it's still got a lot. Alright. Yep. Gotta take it. We tried there. We did try. So, there's usually another mech down here. I don't know where the hell it is, though. Commander? I need you to finish this turret up for me, please. We're hidden from the other turret. 
As long as those buildings are standing, this guy can't shoot us, so I'm not worried there. Uh, unless he was a missile turret, of course. Um, we're going to go with this. So this is ammo 5. Oh, it's 5 left. Right, that makes sense. All right. There we go. More than enough. Just wanted to make sure we kill it. One less turret. No such thing as overdoing it. Um, I don't think we need to pay attention to the base right now. I mean, we could circle around and try and kill the other two turrets, but I think taking care of these guys earlier is better. Wow. Thank God for the large pulse, eh? Awaiting orders. And medium laser spam. Medium laser vomit is real. Okay, that should do it. Nice. Okay, he's got f Inferno Fluid Ammo, so that means we can open up a... Uh, a support point on one of our mechs here. Because now we we got the Fluid Gun. Now we got ammo if we take it. Uh, let's just burn this building up. Yeah, you're not reading enough damage, though. Now, I don't know if this guy's going to move over to engage us or not. They've got somebody somewhere that's not moving. I wonder if they're stuck off the map or on a hill or something. Commander? That's going to be very strange. See, here's the thing. In order to kill this turret... I don't know how much armor it has. Uh, I'm going to reserve. Got it. Ah, figures. Don't look like that turret can hit us. I'm going to multi target this. This guy and this building. And we're going to turn these off. How much heat does this generate now? 15. 9. Yeah. Okay, one hit. And building gone. Okay, medium laser vomit. Uh, I was hoping for at least one hit there. Bet you that urban mech. I hear a vehicle. That's what I'm hearing. I have no idea what it is, though. It's so damn slow. Hundred and fifty. I don't want to take that building down. I want to kill this turret. Let's do this. Let's go after this building with these two guys. Aye. But we're going to do it from a position where those turrets can't get direct line of sight on us, and then we can run up and finish that building off. Can't fire everything, though. Let's fire this. Fire Okay. Good start. Flamer should be able to strip the rest of this building down to nothing. Uh, yeah. 
Let's get here. Leave the medium laser off to save some heat, and we'll burn this building up. Firing on target. So now we can get in and kill this turret. Oh my god, really? Oh, he can see me. Not that he can hit me, but he can certainly see me. And that guy can see me too, eh? Okay. There's the vehicle. So those are probably Ultra 2s. Ranger. Aye, aye. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna multi-target this up. You and you. And go this route and fire. Roger that. Nicely done. Uh, I was hoping you're gonna open the way for the other two mechs down here, but not happening. I'm gonna reserve. You'll have to open the way. There we go. And fire. Okay, we penned. Did no damage though. Is that enough? Not enough, really. <sighs> Leaving me hanging open in the open here, guys. Okay. Turrets have gone. No, they went last turn. Waiting for orders. Yes, just reserve it. Good to go. Let's get on this guy now. And fire everything. So I should be able to finish this building up in a second here. Commander. Pretty good chances to hit. Let's just move over here. And yeah, fire everything. Affirmative. Oh yeah, man. Stripping armor though, that's the only problem. We're not really killing it. So I should do that turret. Okay. Target destroyed. Let's move where he can't see us. Something like that. Don't think that turret's going to be able to see us behind this building here. That vehicle will, though. No idea what he's got, but we're going to target this guy and fire it all. Fire whatever we can, that is. Come on, burrow through, burrow through. Ah, nice try. Oh, alright. Taking it. Not gonna push it. I get into the habit of loving to push things like that, and I just want to not do that. This 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 series, if I can avoid it, gotta have my patience, I guess. Okay, so now we can push. Yeah, 
And you should do a lot of damage against this turret, hopefully. Oh yeah, everything hit. Nice. Yes, Commander. Don't know how much armor this ranger has, but we're going to fire all the medium lasers into it. Hopefully we hit with a few of them here. Okay, three hits. Nice. Okay, we should go against... Oh, I think we need to multi-target this one. And let's leave that on A and everything else to B. Oh, that's got to stay on A too, I guess. That's a lot of armor on this vehicle, though. Uh, and that's a lot of weapons. Okay, go on this route. Engaging multiple targets. Do a little bit of damage to that to help out the uh, assassin when he comes in. Okay. Question is, will those side hits? They were. I don't think the assassin's got enough to kill that guy. So we're gonna just do uh, this. Gonna multi-target this and this. And B's gonna get the chaff. And fire. Affirmative. Come on, is that enough? Yep, okay, perfect. Just hit him with one. There we go, nice. That's fine, you did your job perfectly well. Comes all those ACs and rocket launchers and whatever the hell else he's got here. Well, they're just machine guns, okay. What if they're light machine guns? Be nice to have a few of those. Um, okay. Gotta get all the way over here, eh? I'm moving her because I want her to get in closer on this guy for the next turn. But the flamer, we can shoot from up there and then move. Good to go. So we can do this first. And just back up a little bit. Let's get in the trees. I'm gonna force him to attack me. Maybe we hit the other side this time. We'll fire. Not enough. Aye, aye. I hope we don't have to turn the laser off here. Awfully close. We do. Uh, okay. Yeah, fire the rest. Ah, three hits. Not bad. See what he does here. Come on. Damage minimal. All right. Commander. Thought I was gonna have to worry more about that uh, vehicle, but it's not so bad. Okay. Standing by. Move order received. I was really worried about it there at first, but it doesn't doesn't okay. seem so bad now. God. 
really Commander Confirm Fire it all That's the left side, which is this side. The reason why I'm shooting is because it's so close to dying. Um, it's probably better to shoot it than it is to uh, try and step on it because we missed the spot that we're stepping on. Like if we hit the back for what, like our front, for instance, and not, don't kill it, then uh, it's a waste. So that's enough. There we go. Alright, there it is, guys. Nice long mission. Let's see what we get for salvage out of this. Enemy unit destroyed. Mission successful. Alright, payment increased by 20%. That's great. 186,000. Shouldn't have taken all that much damage. We did take that big AC hit on the fire starter, but I think we're okay. Wait, it's giving me an exclamation mark. We lost the heat sink. Okay. Alrighty, we've got urban mech parts. Hooray for that. Uh, fluid guns. We've got ammo for that now at the bottom. I mean, we got like five picks, and this is just like garbage here, really. Fluid inferno ammo. How many rounds is in this? Eight shots. Let's take that. Um. I don't know. We've got just like garbage choices here, really. Take the two cores. Could take the heavy machine gun. Maybe another fluid gun? We have to get more ammo. Like, if we take that, maybe drop the 160 core. I don't know. Uh, machine gun ammo 200 shots contains 100 rounds and may feed up to multiple weapons. White Peter. Okay. Whiskey Pete. White phosphorus. Um, well, this will give us some flexibility. Are we going to use the fluid guns, let's say, over heavy machine guns? Max range 220. What's the range on these guys? 220. These are one ton for eight heat. It's only five damage times four with damage fall off. I'm not sure why a heavy machine gun would have damage fall off. More like automatic automated grenade launcher. Okay, well that makes a little bit more sense, but suffers from recoil. Uh I think probably we'll go with what we have. We're gonna get most of this anyway, I think. Okay, two urban mech parts. We're almost got a full urban mech. Hooray for that. Um, we might actually have a full urban mech if we have other parts. Which I think we do. We got the R666. Yeah, so we should have an urban mech now. We'll see. A couple more flamers, which were nice. Uh, I guess we're not going to be lacking machine guns anytime soon. Uh, we didn't get the other core, though, unfortunately. Yeah, a couple heat sinks. Okay. Small. Ah, uh, well. I mean, there wasn't much there, so I think we got the best of what was there. With the exception of the other core. Alright, Wolf took Tath is from Steel Viper. Ah, 10,000, not bad. Could have been way worse. It's a good thing that Urban Mech only hit one with that AC. Or hit once with the AC, that is. Um, Alright, we got enough for our financial report right now, which is excellent. We did not get an Urban Mech. I guess 
actually let's have a look at the base here. Do we need to have actual full full version of a mech now in order to get one? Probably, I guess. Unless that uh, other urban mech. So we got six parts here. One part here and a one part here. So maybe because this is a specialty mech that we don't get. It's not really though. Maybe they just don't count across mechs anymore. Maybe you need a full parts of the actual type of mech. All right, well, whatever it is, we'll figure it out. Not that the urban mech's gonna really help us in any way anyway, but nice that we got these hunchback parts though. Pretty close to getting one hunchback, which is nice. That'll definitely help. All right, so let's go back here. Um, I think I'm gonna end the episode here this time, guys. It's a little short, I know. Uh, let's get the guys back here. Yeah, we got two days left. Uh, sorry, man, you're not going to be debating odds on who's going to die first. That apex is a troublemaker, man. Actually, let's go to the hiring hall first. We got to find out now. If we can get some more more pilots here. Gyro jet. Eh. Pigeon, Davian Poor, Megasaur, uh, Technical School, Creased Mech Repair Times. Now, I have no idea how much this adds. Is it one tech point? Is it nothing? I don't know. Discounted by shop items, but 31, 2. Waiting for orders. Red Comet, Technical School, Mech Repair Times. Eh. Yes, boss. Broadway. Um, jazz Hands. Let's grab let's grab Red Comet. Sorry, but Megasaur is like a pretty damn cool name, but thirty one two. Yeah, you know what? We're already paying that though. For one of our pilots. Um I wanna take this on now though. No, I don't think I do. That's like another fifty grand, and I don't fifty something, almost sixty grand. I don't think I want to take that on right now. We'd have to get rid of pilots right away for that. Although I think we're at a position where we probably could do that. I mean, we could ditch Commander? the three starters. Commander, standing by. Commander. Um. Let's do initiative. Reduced hesitation. Unsteady thresholds valuable too, but I don't think we need it right away. Let's go this route. Training complete. Um, because we all we we are, we we're going to be getting getting rid of these people here anyway. Awaiting orders. Uh, so that's forty. By. Eighty-five. Hundred and twenty-five thousand. So let's do that. Sorry, guys. This is something I normally do at the very beginning, but we weren't able to do it with this particular series. Um, so let's bring in... Um, oops, not the store. Hiring hall, please. Come on. Okay, we're going to take uh, Megasaur um, because of technical school. And discount to merchant shop items. And Red Comet. Uh, technical school again. Uh, I don't know... Actually, let's, let's just look here. Is there any way to, to know what our te med tech is 9? Sorry, mech tech is 9. So if we go to... I don't think it adds one, does it? It'd be nice if it did, though. Uh, let's hire them. It does. It adds to mech tech. Hot damn. That's awesome. Wish I had realized that, but I'm an idiot. So there you go. Uh, all right, so that's two good mech warriors, relatively good mech warriors, that is. Um, let's go and give them uniforms, because now the uh, series allows us, or the uh, thing allows us to do that. So the uniform is basically uh, this. Yes, Commander. 
I'm receiving you. Oh, one more. Here we go. Waiting for orders. There we go. Um, nice. So uh, that is it for that. Now we're still waiting. We've almost got enough for uh, gunnery. Um, so the next episode we'll come back and pull off another mission here on the planet. Uh, we still have enough uh, funds to make our uh, financial report, which is great. Hopefully we can pull off something relatively easy, probably another base destruction mission. Uh, I think there's another one there we can take for Karita, and we're pretty darn close, I think, to getting, yeah, Reputation 16, one more mission, I think, and we'll have uh, the next level rep, rep with these guys and get a 0% uh, um, payout in the store, and I think it's plus 5% job payout or something, something like that anyway. Uh, but still, it's better than nothing. All right, guys, so if you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And I'm sorry about having to flush those pilots out, but uh, that's just the way the ball bounces. And until next time, we'll see you all later.